Hi friends and welcome back. It is now time to color our giraffe and add some details. So I wanted to show you a photograph of a giraffe and maybe you could look one up too. Try to make your giraffe very realistic because this is science. We are looking at the giraffe. Yes, as scientists. We are making observations of what giraffes look like. That's the natural habitat of the giraffe in the grasslands of Africa. Look at that. They are so graceful. And look, when they walk, the legs on one side move at the same time. It's pretty cool. All right, so I am going to draw my this part of the top of his um, head or the bottom of his head where his nostrils are, I'm going to draw color that brown. Then I'm going to color each of my spots brown. And I hope you are coloring yours too. Color your spots brown. Try and stay inside the spaces that you made. Sometimes it's easier or more controlled if you use a colored pencil. So you could also do that. You could color your spots with a colored pencil too. That's another choice. I'm going to keep using my crayon. kind of fun. You're like making your own coloring book, aren't you? All your spots. Take your time and if you don't finish by the time I finish, you can work on it. You can pause the video and work on it and then start up the video again. So all of my spots are going to be brown, kind of this dark brown. And then Aussie ossicones are going to be brown. Remember Aussie cones are horns and they're covered with fur and I'm going to color the outsides of my ears brown and the inside I'm going to use a little bit of pink on the inside of my ears all right and the mane the giraffe's mane is going to be brown on my giraffe Okay, and I'm going to color the hooves black. I'm going to get my black out. Color that one, two, three, four hooves. Now you can choose whether to color your giraffe like a peachy color or a yellow color. I think I'm gonna use yellow. So all around the spots, you're going to color yellow. All around the spots. Have you ever been to the zoo to see the giraffes? Have you fed the giraffes? I'm gonna make the bottom of my tail black. Do 
You know what giraffes eat? That's vegetables, leaves from the trees. And I'm going to color around the spots up on his head and the eyes. And I might even use my black colored pencil to make my eyes a little darker. Okay. Oh, I forgot his legs. Keep working. I bet you're doing a beautiful job. Three legs. How many more do I have to color? One more. All right. Oh, beautiful. Now we need to think about where a giraffe lives. And he lives in the grasslands. So I'm going to use green, my two greens, and brown. And I'm going to make some tall grasses. And you can go right over your words. Grass down here. And some dark green grass. And we know that giraffes love, can you see the grass? Okay, giraffes like to eat from those tall trees. So you can make a tall tree, a tall tree. Color in the bark. Make some branches. And on those branches, you need lots of leaves for the giraffe to eat. That's his habitat where he lives and where he gets his food and finds shelter. So now we're adding details to our drawing. And those details will help us to remember where what the habitat of our giraffe is or where our giraffe lives. Okay, can you see that okay? There it is. All right, now we don't want to leave any white space. So we want to make sure our entire background is colored. I'm going to use blue because I want to remember that the sun is shining and I want to know that my giraffe is in a happy place. And when we draw a background, we draw it all the way to the grass. So I'm gonna just start here and I'm going to color my whole paper. My finger is on the tip and I'm going to go all the way to the edge and color my whole background all the way down to the grass because the sky goes all the way down to the horizon all the way down to the grass. And I'm coloring lightly so I can still read my labels. I'm going around the giraffe, not over the giraffe. I'm going in between his legs, not over his legs. Making sure all my white space is covered. I'm going to go behind the tree a little bit because I see some white. Anywhere where I see white, I'm going to color blue. And I'm going to try carefully not to go over top of other colors or over top of my giraffe. And I'm trying not to press too hard on my crayon. Beautiful. Now my 
giraffe is finished. I have completed my mammal and I'm pretty happy with it. All right, make sure you put your name on your mammal and put it into your folder to bring back to school next week to share with your teacher. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me this week. I had so much fun teaching you about mammals. I hope you learned a lot and I hope now you can make observations about the animals that you see every day and tell whether they are a mammal or not. See you soon.